In this tutorial, we're going to start where we left off with our Sprout theme that's been modified. And we're going to set this style as a custom style um, to be available for our theme. So we're going to open up the page inspector. And we are back to this theme settings panel. And at the bottom here, we have a couple of drop down menus. One has this gear sign next to it, and one has a folder. What we're going to do is drop down under this gear and we're going to say save style as and then we have a drop down come up with a field where we are set to title this style so um, we could call it um, by the name of the project we're working on um, so if this was for a certain project you could name your style um, based on that project or you could just do it based on the colors that are used so maybe I'll just say something like maroon and brown I don't really know what these colors are but it's close enough so I'll save that now if I go into this drop down menu next to the gear I will see custom styles at the very bottom and maroon and brown is there as an option and so now this is saved um, for my for my theme to use and in fact I'm gonna do something really crazy I'm gonna close Rapid Weaver I'm just gonna close my project and I'm not gonna save it and I'm gonna open it I'm gonna open a new project I'm gonna add a style text page and I think I still have my warm ipsum dummy text in the clipboard so I'm going to paste it in yeah there it is and I'm going to go up to my theme drawer and go to sprout bring that up preview it and we're back to the default sprout settings but if I go into the theme variations tab of my page inspector and drop down there again scroll down to the bottom there's my custom style maroon and brown and if I select that my site is right back to where I left it. Um, so basically what we've done is we've saved all of the settings that have been selected. So I had set the width to medium, I believe. Yeah, medium. And I had um, obviously set the colors to be quite different than the default. And those colors are here. And so what we've done is we've made our, we've made our adjustments to the theme, the variations. We've set things the way we want them and we saved that as a style and that style is always going to be available to this specific theme when you save a theme style it is specific to the theme that you're working in and so if we were to change to um, a different theme for example let's just go next to next to your smart business now in the in the um, page inspector I don't see that style it's no longer available because it's specific to Sprout um, so if I go back to Sprout I'm back with my theme. So that is basically saving your customized settings as a style for your theme to use. And that's by ch making your changes here and then going down to your drop down saying save style. And what that does is that actually saves these settings to a file um, on your hard drive. And we can actually see that file if we select this option below, re reveal styles in Finder. So I select that and here it is um, and that is actually inside um, if I I don't have it viewed but if I show my path bar here at the bottom there's actually a theme styles folder underneath application support rapid weaver it's the theme styles and these are custom styles that I've created I've not created a custom style before um, and so now this is my first one and it's named the way I named it so that's actually where the location of the file is in the finder and you are creating an actual file, a physical file, with your with your theme, um, with your theme style. So back in the Rapid Weaver, you probably noticed when I dropped down that there was quite a few things in this list. These are built-in styles that the theme developer actually defined himself when creating this theme. And this will vary. Some themes will not have any built-in styles. They will just have the default. Um, some may have quite a few, and this one definitely does have quite a few. And they're named differently to kind of give you an idea of what you're looking at or what you're going to be looking at. For example, Sprout Purple probably has some purple to it, so let's click on that. 
and we have a um, pretty nice color scheme actually. It does have purple in it, um, but it's, it's nice complementary colors there. And so as you can see, you've got um, quite a few of options available to get you started. If you're not real comfortable with choosing your own colors, then these built-in styles may help you out um, as you to get to get you started with your with your theme layout and your customization. So these built-in styles um, are basically custom styles, but they were done by the theme developer, and so yours will appear at the bottom of that list if you choose to save your own. So that's custom styles, um, and then built-in styles in Rapid Weaver, and it's it, it's um, it is on a theme by theme basis specific to each theme but for the themes that support the color picker and that have these custom styles it's a really nice feature um, and that is custom styles in Rapid Weaver